Hey, what's up, everybody? Happy Thursday. Thank you so much for tuning in to episode five of From Grant. I have a little friend down here. Um, thank you for tuning in to episode five of From Grant Street to Your Street. I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you're spreading some positive energy. Um, so I'm back here with Joel Gray again, back where it all started, back at my piano again. And uh, yeah, I can't really believe it. We've done four episodes already and here we are with episode five. So I thought I would bring it back to where we started and spend another week here with Joel Gray. So let's get started. I'm having, I'm having a week, y'all. Um, I've got Walter, as you know, we introduced Walter, my new puppy, on last week's episode, and we have been having so much fun. He's doing a really great job. Thank you guys so much for all of the kind messages that you've sent about Walter. I read a few of them to him, and then I was like, I think this is going to his head, and um, we want to keep him humble, so thank you for telling me how cute he is, but... I'm gonna keep some of those to myself. He sort of has his favorite spots in the house. He is very fond of Gavin Creel. And, I mean, who can blame him? My boy's got good taste. Yeah, the first time I put him in his crate and I left for like five minutes. And by left, I mean I snuck out the back door and spied on him through the dining room window. But today, today was a big day because I need to go for a run. So I put Walter in his crate and I decided I'm just gonna go on a quick run, maybe like 20 minutes. So I am out on my run and it's a beautiful day and I'm loving the weather and life almost felt normal. So I'm just running and enjoying life and I checked my watch and it's like, oh, okay, 10 minutes, still good. 15 minutes, okay, maybe I'll turn around in, in a minute here. And then, before I knew it, I checked my watch and I had been running for 30 minutes. So, nervous, first time parent, I literally sprinted back towards the house completely convinced that Walter had broken out of his crate, burned down the house, and you know, I'm thinking the worst. So I'm running back to the house and I come back in and he's like, what's up, what's up Jeff? He was happy as can be, chilling in his crate like the good little boy that he is. So I don't know what's gonna happen to me if I ever become a real parent of an actual human child. How do y'all do it? I worry all the time. So if that ever happens, I'm gonna need some medication to get me through it. So brava to all the doggy parents and brava to the actual parents of real life human people. Oh, I'm a nervous wreck, but I'm also having fun. And now it's time for this week's GSD Slideshow!
So I have two stories that I want to share with you guys tonight and the theme of these two stories is gratitude and inspiration. And the first story is on this theme of gratitude. So if you'll just indulge me for a second. Um, as you know, Walter is my new family member and um, in the beginning we were really struggling outside because in the back of my yard I have this chain link fence and you can see through to the alley behind my house and you can see across the alley to another chain link fence where two very large aggressive dogs live and anytime they spotted Walter they would just like Cujo horror movie attack that fence and snarl and growl and bark and Walter was really kind of terrified to be in his own backyard. I needed help. I needed to put up a privacy fence. So I ordered the supplies that I need and Paige O'Neill, our technical director at Grand Street, picked them up for me in the truck. And Roger Scruggs, who works at Grand Street occasionally, built me this fence. <laughs> So I'm not kidding you guys, as soon as that fence went up, Walter was a new boy. He immediately relaxed in the backyard. In fact, he took a nap the very day that that fence went up right next to the fence. Paige and Roger, you are literally my quarantine heroes. I think during this time, if there are people that are helping you, let them know. Say thank you as much and as often as you can to the people in, you, in your life who are helping you through these times. Paige and Roger, you are helping me through this time by doing what you did, and I am so grateful. You have changed this little puppy's life. And um, so you've changed mine as well. Thank you so much. That might seem like such a silly little thing, guys, a fence, but um, it really made a difference. So thank you guys. Oh, feels on episode five. Hashtag emotions. It's all right. It's okay. We gotta feel what we gotta feel, remember? I believe I reviewed that in episode three. Hello, Grand Street Theater community. Starting today until Friday at 6 p.m. is Greater Helena Gives. This is a 24-hour fundraiser to support local area Helena nonprofits. We hope that you'll support Grand Street Theater during Greater Helena Gives. As you know, during the COVID-19 epidemic, Grand Street Theater is on intermission but we're still here trying to brighten the spirit of Helena. And we need your support to be sure we are here and ready to open the doors to the theater when we're able to gather together again. Please consider a donation to Grand Street Theater during Greater Helena Gives. You can donate directly at the Greater Helena Gives website where you can donate to multiple nonprofits at one time or at the Grand Street Theater website. Thank you and we'll see you soon. The other thing I wanna talk about is inspiration. Another one of my quarantine heroes is the playwright Lauren Gunderson. Well, Lauren Gunderson has been doing a free online playwriting class, and I loved them. I have watched all of them. I tuned in every week, and I had been toying around with this idea of a play, a musical, that I might like to write one day. And because of Lauren's playwriting class, I actually finally got to work. So I was just thinking, you know, gosh, wouldn't it be wonderful to tell her that her work has inspired me and her playwriting class has inspired me. So luckily I uh, have a good friend, a Grand Street alum, Aaron Ortman, 
who is working with Lauren Gunderson right now on a musical about Jeanette Rankin. So Aaron put me in touch with Lauren and I wrote her an email, not knowing if I would hear back from her, but she did write back to me. And she wrote me a lovely email that was so uh, down to earth and she was very moved and very touched that I decided to reach out to her. And it was just a lovely little exchange. And I was just so happy that I decided to reach out to her. And it just got me thinking that isn't now more than ever the right time to reach out to people who have inspired you? If someone has made a difference in your life, shouldn't we tell them? And shouldn't we tell them right now? So I'm giving you guys some homework. I want you to think about those people in your life who have inspired you or have made a difference or have made you a better person. And I want you to tell them that's your homework for the week. If your mom asked you when you were in second or third grade, if you would like to take piano lessons, thank her for that inspiration. Thanks, Mom. If your dad was your Little League coach, thank him. Thanks, Dad. If your piano teacher not only saw your skill at the piano, but also discovered a glorious little voice and gave you some solos in the Christmas pageant, maybe you should thank her. So, Mrs. Sampson of Chillicothe, Ohio, thank you for what you did for me. You are an excellent piano teacher, and thank you for helping me discover my little voice. So, team, that's your homework. There will never be a better time. Reach out to someone, thank them for making a difference in your life, thank them for making you a better person. Hi! <laughs> Thank you so much for supporting Grand Street Theater. These days, the world has gotten a little scary. And we can't be in the theater right now. That means that we don't have much money coming in. Well, we still have bills to pay. We're just not selling very many tickets. Grand Street is taking a break from our shows. For now. Let's call it a brief intermission. But it's still our fun drive season. So maybe during our intermission, you want some concessions. How about a virtual box of popcorn for a $50 donation? Or a virtual brownie for $100? It's gonna be a good brownie. Brownie points for buying too. And it's gonna make you feel good because you're giving your favorite virtual beverage for $250 donation. Or for a $1,000 donation, how about a front of the line bathroom pass? Yes, please. After our intermission, we promise. We promise we will be back. We will be back. 
We love you, Helena. We really do. And we need Grand Street. We can't wait to get back on stage. And backstage. In the classroom. In the scene shop. In the props room. Making costumes. Making music. Greeting you at the door. We can't wait to get back. Your support right now helps make that possible. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, I am wearing my top hat, which means it is time for some more music. So let's welcome our first guest. You guys will recognize her from many Grand Street shows over the years. She has been in Into the Woods, All Shook Up, Peter and the Starcatcher, The 39 Steps. Please help me welcome Julia Harris and her two adorable scene partners. Okay, here we go. I hear the human race is falling on its face and hasn't very far to go. But every whippoorwill is selling me a pill and telling me it just ain't so. I could say life is just a bowl of jello and appear more intelligent and smart. But I'm stuck like a dope with a thing called hope And I can't get it out of my heart Not this heart <laughs> We miss you, Grand Street! Our next singer was a guest performer in Grand Street's summer program a couple years ago. He was in Falsettos and Mamma Mia. We are so happy to have him singing again for Grand Street. Please welcome Ben Love. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, there's a that I heard of once in a lullaby Somewhere over the rainbow Skies are blue And the dreams that you dare to dream Really do come true Someday I'll wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me. Where troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops. That's where you'll find me somewhere over the rainbow. Birds fly, birds fly over the rainbow, why then, oh why can't I? If happy little bluebirds fly beyond the rainbow, why, oh why can't I? Love you, Grand Street. Stay safe. Hey there, hunker downers. Man, it's getting weird out here, but uh, during these COVID days, we really think that you should maybe reach out and try something new. Everybody's doing a little something different. Um, if you wanna, if you wanna try something, um, we've got an idea for you. Um, online donations. What do you think about that, Kate? Yeah, yeah, do that. Do that. Yeah. Do that. Try something new. You never know what's gonna what's gonna happen. What you what you what you might discover. Online donations. There's a link, uh, or a here. Maybe maybe I'll put something right here. Um, give it a shot. Try something new. It's COVID. Anything's possible. So for our final video tonight, we are going to share some footage from the Grand Street archives. 
and we are going to stay on the Lauren Gunderson train, and we are going to look at the final moments from our production of The Book of Will. And I want us all, as we watch this, to just remember how wonderful it feels to watch live theater, how wonderful it feels to be surrounded by your community members and watching your community members bring stories to life on our stage. And I wanted to share this particular video because this moment, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and say that when I read this moment, it's all a stage direction. And I think it is one of the most, if not the most, exciting stage directions I have ever read. Because what Lauren Gunderson is giving the director and the actors with a stage direction like this is so much wonderful room to collaborate and experiment and creatively explore what this moment, what this finale can be. That's what I felt when I read it. That's what I felt when I worked on it with my cast. Just a beautiful collaboration between playwright to director to performers. And so that's what I wanted to share with you guys tonight. Um, and I would like to read this stage direction before I share the video with you guys. As soon as John opens the cover, the world around and ahead of them explodes into the sound of centuries of forthcoming speeches. To be or not to be's, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow's, and Romeo, oh Romeo's, a beautiful cacophony of actors' voices performing Shakespeare tempests, and time warps around us, the speeches swirl, different accents, different languages, all the world's a stage, and it's funneled into Anne Hathaway's living room at this moment. Then the sound of the future fades away in a flash that drops us back in that little house, in that little town, where John, Henry, Anne, and Susanna have spent the day in his plays. We find them now in the quiet darkness, listening as he closes the book, the moment the cover hits the top page, blackout. I hope you guys enjoy. To be or not to be, to that be is your question. To be, that is the question. Not to be, that is the question.
that is our show for tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching. Buy a ticket to our online gala if you can. Support Grand Street Theater if you can. Stay strong, stay safe. We'll see you next week. Bye!